started very, very poorly. Not energy, uh, not executing. I was very disappointed in how we started the game. But we just kept digging, and at the end, uh, look, we, we worked hard to get some breaks, and we made some big shots, some big free throws, and had some stops when we needed them. Eddie, what did you think of uh, the way J.J. Moore finished the game? He really didn't do much for 38 minutes before he hit two big shots. Well, again, we want to be accountable for defense. And I thought that he allowed his man to drive middle too many times early in the game. And I thought he took some um, shots that weren't in the offense, wasn't a rhythm jump shot. And you know, it was you know, you could say it was selfish if you wanted to be uh, adamant about it, but it was that type of flavor, you know, from him. And I didn't. I, I thought that we needed some other guys who could play the right way, and Malik did a tremendous job for us in that role. And you know, when it was come back when we needed a, a shot, obviously you got to put your guy in that's going to make a shot, and he did. Eddie, you said you know created some breaks there at the end. When a game is sort of going like this, where it's kind of going against you the whole night, is that sort of what you got to do in this? Yeah, I mean, you, again, um, one of our special keys tonight and every night, but we put it on the whiteboard, is poised through adversity. And, you know, we were dealing with some adversity out there. We weren't playing well. We were, had low energy. We weren't making plays. We missed layups, free throws. Um, we, we allowed them to shoot 56% above 50% until the last, you know, a couple of minutes, we got it down under 40. I'm sorry, under 50. Um, so it was it was not a good night for us. Not a good night. But you know, basketball over the years, you're gonna have games like this. You don't like them. Um, you're not happy about it, but you're happy about the win. But you know, there are all types of ways to win. All types of games to be played. And this was just a that sort of struggle game. When you have games like this to finish what you want to finish at the end and come out on top, does it feel better? Obviously, <laughs> no doubt. The W feels a lot better than the L. Um, and <laughs> But you know, I tell you, you gotta give you gotta give Yale a lot of credit. They they run their stuff. They're um, you know they got good size. You know, look, every seems like every team we play, their guards are you know head and shoulders above our guards, and that's what we have to deal with. But again, Miles made some good plays down the end. He got his hands and tied up the ball a couple of times. So there was an advantage of being small. He finds the crevices. He creeps from behind and. Um, he just has a will. So our will and determination down the stretch was our biggest plays, will and determination. Eddie, you mentioned Malik. Can you just follow up on the effort he gave off the bench, 12 points, 5 or 6? He played games. fearless. You know, he defended. He rebounded very well for us. He stuck his nose in there defensively. He got some drives to the basket and made some nifty moves in the paint. And he played like you should play. You know, you should play free and with uh, confidence should be soaring through the roof. And that's what he looked like tonight. Greg Lewis is fine. He, he gave us a great spark there. He gave us a great stretch, a really great stretch. But I just thought Wally was a lot more versatile, and he played well, and um, he was good. I like Kadeem at five on some rotations when we sub, um, just to keep him in there because he plays above the rim when he gets his energy going. And we played Malik, so I, we played a little small. And, but when Greg went in, I mean, he sat there the whole half. He goes in. And in a real tough time of the game, and did some really good things for us. I'm really happy for him. What made, what made that three guard look work that you went to after Malik fouled out? It wouldn't have worked if we didn't make shots. So, <laughs> I mean, JJ made the shot. Again, I wanted to spread the floor out. Um, so we were in the bonus, and I wanted to either get drives and get fouls on drives or get, you know, drawing kicks to one of our three, two guards who we were spotting up. But I wanted JJ in there to space the floor. So we wanted to space the floor and drive and kick and get JJ some threes. Coach Devon played 30 minutes. That's something we can expect this to go forward. Well, you know, I wanted Jerome to play better. Jerome didn't play as well as I like for him to play at either end. And that's why Devon, Devon has been steady the whole preseason. And, um, you know, he's just a steady ball player experience. Nothing rattles him. So I like what he did tonight, yeah. A little bit how easily Yale moved the ball against your guys. It's I saw them move against Connecticut the same way. Yeah, no, no, they 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 execute. I mean, they execute. They move. They use the clock. Uh, I was disappointed in the fact that we came out very low energy, 
not focused enough to run the offense properly to the second side. You know, we're the team that should move the ball from side to side and get some easy um, cuts and uh, shots and rolls to the basket and drives. But we just have to be smart enough to play with a lot more discipline. And I was disappointed at halftime. I told them, you know, we're not playing smart. We're playing selfish. We're playing um, like we never practiced before. Okay. 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 Okay.